Welcome to my review of the 2019 Dodge Ram Bighorn Edition. All right, let's start it out first. Uh, why is that up there? It should be down there. And it's Shea Dodge, but hey, whatever. All right, this is the uh, Bighorn. It's got the basic, basic tires. It's got six, six lugs on it. Not much clearance there, even just with the stock tires on. And here we got 275, 65 R18s. This is two wheel drive though. Can't see much uh, the suspension in there. All right, one thing that they overdo it with, it says Ram there in the headlights. It says Ram everywhere on this truck. A little Ram there. It's Ram so many places, it's a little unnecessary. Uh, in my personal opinion, too much, uh, too much chrome on the front. I don't love the new grills in 2019. I think the older styles are better. Uh, but, you know, not going to be a hater. Don't really love this dip here. It's kind of strange. We'll pop the trunk here in a minute. Pop the hood here in a minute. Oh, hey, look at that. Some more Ram branding. got the uh, no cap I know that's pretty basic but you know me coming from a 2004 it's a pretty crazy difference one of the things that I'm not quite sure about yet is uh, the bed liner has this little section here kind of uh, segmented off you know this right here don't know what that's for tailgate is the easy lower it's a nice amount of easy, not too easy, but uh, you know, it doesn't drop. It's nice and light, a little too big of a logo on the back. Hey, whatever. Got the uh, four by six by there, it's nice. I'm not a huge fan of the exhaust on the stocks, but whatever. Hey, I wonder if there's a logo in the taillight. Oh, yeah, there is. There is indeed. All right, back seat, way too big. That is huge, huge. It's bigger than like most SUVs. So one of the things that's nice, you know, the doors are nice, close good, door handles are nice. Got the double pockets, that's nice. All right, one of my favorite features here, I know this has been Dodge for a long time, but let's just look at uh, this bin. All right, that's cool. Removable. Foam, foam, and there's tie downs in here. That's a pretty sweet idea. I like that. You know, it'd be kind of cool if there was a way to drain this for, you know, you put ice in there, you can just drain it out. But I, I understand that could cause some other issues having a easy drain there. So let's climb in the back seat. Uh, all right, so spacious. I got room for days, not a mega. We got USBs for days too. Four USBs. And then there's some USBs up there. And then there's actually some USBs on the inside as well. Way too many USBs. 60-40 split, does fold up. Uh, this one doesn't have the uh, cargo compartment down here, which I think is uh, a must. I'm a big fan of that. Uh, you'll see there's a ram bin on that side. You know, also I don't love that it's labeled. You know, one of the benefits of the bin is that it's kind of inconspicuous. Uh, putting a big ram bin there, you know, Ruins that a little bit. All right, passenger side door. You know, the same nice, thick, good sounding doors. Lock, unlock, auto windows. It's got the uh, two layer here. One thing that you should really do is just touch this cup holder. It's like foam, very nice, soft touch. Don't know why that's useful in a cup holder, but it does feel good. Uh, I liked how uh, inconspicuous the release button here is. That's nice. Close is good. Standard. From this side, we've got a nice little place up there to hold the phone. I think it's a good size display. One of the things I'm really happy about is the uh, mute and the screen off button. Those are two excellent buttons. But uh, let me get over the driver's side and we'll start her up. 
Got the handles on the driver's side and the passenger side. That's in the must. Push to start. Boom. I like that display. That's probably my favorite display so far. Got low fuel. Let me just run you through these menus real quick. You go get your speed. You can uh, set up the screen. Look at your messages. Get a play of what's going on on the radio. Uh, you can set a trip. 9.3 MPG. That's because I've been driving it real hard for the last little bit. Would not say that's the average uh, MPG. And uh, then you got vehicle uh, information here. You can uh, customize this. You can also uh, get engine hours, tire pressure, and then all the detailed gauges here. Gear limiter here, it's kind of cool. So next to, uh, next to drive, it'll show you what gear you're in. Like there it says one, and as I uh, adjust the gear, that little one shows up next to it, and I can limit uh, the gear range that the vehicle will shift into. You can tell we've got up to eight gears here. That's crazy. Uh, okay, got a hate on the knob. Don't like the knob at all. Don't know why there's a knob. Don't want to talk about the knob. Um, all right, the display, it's pretty decent. You know, like I said, the, the mute button here and the screen off, I think those are two key buttons. Really nice to have those easy uh, and accessible. Big horn, we've got the heated, heated, heated. Your pretty standard controls here. Uh, I like the style of the uh, buttons here. They're uh, very, very good feeling. And we got the CD drive down here. You know, this is the console edition. I really hate consoles. What's a truck if you can't lift up a third seat and make a bed in the front? But, hey, whatever. There's a ridiculous amount of room down here. You can, uh, there's a little adjuster in there. There's also uh, some basic math equations down here. Yeah, that's right. You got Pythagorean theorem just in case you need that. This is adjustable, which is kind of handy. You know, this is a weird place to stop. It's like you could almost use the cup holder, but not quite. I feel like it should stop with them either all the way concealed or all the way exposed. Plus, like right there, where you're at minimum cup holder, it doesn't lock. You know, it locks all the way there, and then it locks there. And then you can push it all the way forward, and it locks there. So most of the time I would see myself locking it in the middle. That way you have some access up here if needed. Or you know, you can just keep it real messy down there and cover it up. One of the things that took me a while to get, this is a cell phone holder. You actually push your cell phone into there. It's really hard plastic though. It's not soft. Uh, so I don't know if I would feel comfortable putting uh, my cell phone in there on a regular basis. Um, but hey, you know, it's a nice option. It's a good thought by Dodge. Okay, rear view mirrors are nice. Not as good as the uh, tow haul mirrors, but hey, it's not bad. One of the things I like is uh, it does have the auto fold and it does let you do it while you're driving. So that's pretty handy. Auto windows, windows lock, lock, unlock, all pretty basic. Uh, another big complaint, the park brake is like a push button where pull is on and pushes off. I don't really like it. Uh, the light display is good. It makes sense. The cluster I'm pretty happy with. Um, you know, I like that there's a speedometer. I think that's a necessary, uh, it's a necessary part. Um, so I, I wouldn't have too many big complaints there. Vanity. Check. Wipes vanity. Check. Okay, I'm a big fan of this here. Uh, coming from old school vehicle, you can never adjust this mirror, this window in the back. Oh yeah. Push of a button. 
I find that pretty handy. Pop the engine. All right, the first thing that stands out is, look at all that space right there. It's so much space. You could do a lot of activities. You could put a turbo. So much space. You know, it's pretty clean. Clean design, well spaced out. I like to see this uh, nice battery wrap from the factory. You know, I don't like that they don't lift the grill up like they used to on the second gens. I think that's a much easier way to access all the vital components. Uh, but hey, not a, not a big complaint. All right, working from the underside, you can see you've got a uh, strut in the front with the shock tube and the springs combined uh, right here. You've got the uh, sway bar and the sway bar end link. I will say, bad placement of the sway bar. It's uh, directly under where the oil is going to drain. You're going to get oil everywhere when you uh, let oil out. So that's really annoying. Uh, they got nice little fins on the bottom of the transmission. It's different from the 2004. I think it's interesting that the uh, exhaust comes out on two sides, but then right where I'm at, it combines them into one and it's one all the way to right over the rear axle and then it splits back to the duals. So it's like duals, then single, then duals again. You got your lines right in the back, a little protector over them, it's just some crappy plastic, but it's nicer than having them exposed. It's a very clean underbody. Following the drive shaft down. Let me scoot to the back. So this is the uh, front of the fuel tank. And you can see this black right here is the ram box. Bin, excuse me, touching the bottom of it there. It's what it looks like on this side. So it is kind of completely exposed to the elements here. Makes me think that there probably could be a drain uh, that you could fit here. I'm sure there's an aftermarket video for that. It also makes me think that, man, they could have made this bigger. Look at all this space down here. All right, now we're right above the rear pumpkin. You can see the exhaust splits here again for the duels. You can see you've got a sway bar in the back as well. Uh, here, you know, the big change is you've got coil springs. Can't really get them on video from here. Try this. It does come stock with remote start on the obnoxiously large uh, keychain. Way too large. All right, in the settings, one of the things that I like is under lights. Headlight off, headlight illumination, headlight with wipers, flashlights with lock. Those are some uh, some very nice options, uh, and I'm glad they uh, give you the uh, ability to control those here. I'll go through some of these other options real quick just so you can see. So, would I buy it? No, I would not. Give me an old truck, out of warranty, lifted, lots of stuff that's gonna break. Keep it simple, that's what I like. But it's cool seeing all the fancy stuff all the rich folk like to drive around in.